Alright, um, today we're doing a video, um, basically I want to respond to a few things, um, that, you know, that I've seen talked about recently, uh, here on YouTube. Um, there's a young guy that, uh, just, uh, took his motorcycle safety course and um, he posted a video about, you know, what type of bike is a good first bike, and you know, you just, you know, asking for just general, you know, you just have some general tips or questions about, you know, you know, should he get a 600, should he get a 1000, and he uh, basically he said uh, he had gotten on his friend's bike, which I don't know if it was a. 600 or 650 or what it was, but um, he basically uh, <laughs> didn't realize how much power it had and uh, <laughs> almost uh, messed up real bad. So, but um, so this uh, this video today is twofold uh, because I want to talk about another video um, as well that Downshift 83 did, and um, I'll just go ahead and put a link in his uh. A link to his video. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence or insult him by repeating what he said. You can go to his video to see what he said. Uh, but he made some good points too. Um, but the main thing he said that I want to reiterate and that I've actually talked about before on one of my videos. I'm um, sorry. That, um, that I actually talked about before on one of my videos is having respect um, for the machine. The best advice I can give you, at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable on the bike you buy. And if you're not comfortable on the bike you buy, you might as well be riding something, you know, that's way too powerful for you, you know? <laughs> you might as well because, I mean, if you're not, if you're not comfortable, then you're not going to do well. And you're not going to like motorcycle riding. Um, also, um, also, another thing I want to touch on too. motorcycle safety course, you are a hell of a lot better driver. Like, there's, there's just things you notice. I can't really describe, you know, I, it's, it's not really one thing in particular, but, like, a lot of stuff that you didn't notice before in a car, you notice. Just a lot of little things that you never noticed before. You start to notice when you, uh, after you've taken a motorcycle safety course. Like, I found that, um, after I took the course, I didn't tailgate as much. Um, I need to stop and readjust here, too. My headphone is falling out. I'm listening to music.
I'll, I'll stop and do that at some point because it's yeah, it's totally out now. Anyway, but um, what I'm saying, it, it makes you a hell of a lot better driver because there's a lot of things you notice. Like I said, I don't tailgate as much anymore. Um, I usually don't find myself speeding excessively um, in a car anymore. Um, and uh, I know guys that have that drive that have driven like maniacs and they take the motorcycle safety course and they're still maniacs don't get me wrong because they, they ride like maniacs too but when they get back in the car it's like <laughs> it's like two different people it's like <laughs> you know what, what happened to the guy that was you know that used to you know speed and all that stuff and a lot of you know a lot of people tell me they're you know, like yeah the car yeah it's, it's just boring to me now you know it um it, it's it's just you know it's just a means to an end really um, you know, getting from one destination to another, whereas the motorcycle, the whole, the whole length of the thing, the whole length of the ride is, you know, it's, that's the joy itself, so, I find that interesting, but, yeah, the main thing is, if we're getting off, we're getting off subject here, the main thing is to get something that you feel comfortable on, um, and I apologize, downshift, I am going to repeat something you said, <laughs> I, uh, go to your local, go to your local motorcycle shop, Test out a few bikes. Mm.